Sony make an incredible number of different products and by and large they're all such high quality and beautifully made wonderful wonderful devices but my goodness we really need to talk about Sony's marketing. Before we get into it if you're a Sony fan you've got to hit subscribe smash the notification bell because we have a huge amount of content coming your way and in the video description below, you'll see a newsletter link. Make sure you sign up for that because we're gonna give you all the best Sony deals, exclusive deals as well. That's launching very, very soon. In fact, it may have already launched by the time this video goes live. Right, Sony's marketing. One of the biggest problem areas here, I think we can all agree, is the naming conventions. They are at best terrible. Now, at first, I wasn't sure if this is a, a Sony thing or is it a Japan thing? And actually, I'm starting to think it could be a Japan thing. Here's why. Check out these absolutely beautiful products. Who are they from here? Look, Technics, Denon. I mean, there's Panasonic as well. I, all of these products look uh, absolutely beautiful and I would dearly love to have them all here in the studio. In fact, I really want to do that. Although we're called Sony 365, you know, sometimes there's a strong case for looking at other marks and these look superb, I think you'll agree. But check out what they're called. So given that all these names are really nothing more than codes, SKU codes, um, maybe they'd be better choosing actual names, right? Yeah, maybe not. For example, take a look at these two products here, bottled water. We see them every day. We think of names like Evian and, I don't know, Perrier, whatever. Well, these are called Poo Water and Pet Sweat. Well, with names like Poo Water and Pet Sweat, I'm starting to think WH-1000XM4 is actually a pretty good name. And don't worry, I'm not just going to um, hammer Sony here and you know, give them a hard time. We're gonna come up with a fix for this problem. We're gonna do it together here in the video and in the comments below. I really wanna see your suggestions, but okay, here's the other thing. Bravia, Alpha, PlayStation. I mean, all of these different um, sub-brands, if you like, all have their own naming conventions and they all seem to kind of contradict each other. And that's before we even get into the Xperia state of affairs. I mean, can you imagine if the Xperia team was in charge of the PlayStation naming conventions? You'd have the PlayStation Iron to kick things off with, followed by the PlayStation Solar, followed by uh, the PlayStation L, and then the PlayStation Z3, and then, well, actually, you'd, you'd want to get the Z3, but you, and then <laughs> you'd think, well, I want this color, the green, because that looks really cool. Well, that's only available in Taiwan. Ah, okay, well, I want the one with the extra RAM. No, that's only available in Japan. Okay, so you see where I'm going here. And the other thing is, I mean, I love the little portable um, speaker that we have floating around in the studio here. Um, I'm gonna try and do this from memory, the SBS XB43, I think it is. It, sh it shouldn't be so difficult for me to remember, but that's why we're doing this video, right? Um, it's fantastic. I will say this though, from a marketing perspective, I think it would look better if it looked like it belonged, it truly belonged as a real Sony product. Now, I'm pretty sure it's fair to say, when you go into an Apple store, sorry to mention those guys, but we have to look at what they did right. I've talked about a lot of the things they've done wrong when it comes to the ethical practices there in their factories and so on, or the third-party outsourced factories that they use. If you go into an Apple store, all of the items there, Apple Watch, the MacBook Pros, the iPhones, of course, they all look consistent, like the design language is consistent, they look like they belong and that they're from the same brand. That's not the case with Sony. Now, of course, it's much more difficult, I would argue, for Sony, given the number of different areas they operate within, but it is possible. And I would argue that the XB23 actually looks like it's a Sony product, but it starts to kind of go wrong a little bit there with the 33 and the 43. I love the 43, I, it's in the studio here and it's very, very cool. But I think Sony can do a better job of achieving the design consistency across all the different brands and products. The other thing I think Sony needs to fix is the sort of, I suppose you could call it fairness. Let's see if we can have Sony products be available in more markets and straight from release. I mean, again, I hate to go back to Apple again, but, and I'm gonna do it again later, but Apple does very well at this. There's a product unveiling, um, pre-orders start within a few days, or sometimes even before that, and then it's on sale very soon after that. 
I'm thinking of the Xperia phones here now. That is not the case. It's a question of, hey, it's February, check out the new phone. You'll be able to buy it in, I don't know, June, May, if you're lucky. And that will only be available in some markets. And I think a lot of people find that unfair and I can see why. And it's difficult to fully get behind a brand if you don't know whether the product will come to your territory or not. If it does, the colors that you want, are they gonna be available only in other countries? And the specs that you want, will that be a special edition in some faraway land? These are the things I think need to be addressed. Sony makes very different products, I would argue, than Apple. In terms of the philosophical approaches, I could have said philosophical better. I did the second time. Just to be absolutely clear, I don't want Sony to start making products like Apple does. I much, much, much prefer Sony's approach. I think it's a more honest approach. I think it's a more practical approach. And I think the end result is the products are easier to live with and they're just, they fit into my lifestyle much better. But I want to see Sony take from Apple what is working best for them. And that's always been the marketing. The marketing at Apple, whether you, you know, are into that brand or not, the marketing is second to none. And they seem to have this knack, not just of naming their products, by and large, reasonably well, or very, very well, somewhere in between. They also have this knack of providing the right number of options. And I would argue sometimes there are just too many options. And when you factor in the naming conventions there for Sony, it becomes pretty complicated pretty quickly. I mean, imagine if you're an Apple store, do you want AirPods, AirPods Pros, or do you want the Max? Now with Sony, it's, okay, did you want the WF1000MX4s? Or did you want the WH1000XM4s? Or would you prefer the sporty version, the, I, you know, the seven, I can't remember. And, and then, but the thing is, it isn't just that. There's all these other ones available in the store too. And with the codes and everything, I don't know. I feel like from a marketing perspective, Sony's making life unnecessarily difficult for itself here. Do you agree with me on that? If so, what would you recommend Sony does? I think the hardest part here is actually making the products and the right kind of products. And for me, Nobody does that better than Sony, and I'm behind them 100%. I really enjoy using their products, and I'm happy to keep buying them. I just wish they could make those areas better. And I really want to know what you think in the comments section below. Please do let me know. As ever, make sure you're signed up to our deals letter uh, for the best new Sony deals. Uh, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter, because we'll be doing breaking Sony news there and just loads of fun stuff. Subarashi Suitachi. Oh no, I can't do that. Oh, so I try and do it bit by bit. Oh, well, you can. Subarashi, Chinichi, Sugoshi, Potagai, Nishi, Sugoshi, 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 Sugoshi,